everyone. So I want to do this shirt thing. So first off, this is one of the shirts uh, I've made. I mean, I've made almost, I make everything for my Renfair except for belts on um, bags. Um, I tend to buy those offline. But this is a shirt I've made off of my favorite pattern, which is the Simplicity pattern, which I will go over in a little bit. And then this is a mix between my simplicity pattern so it's the base the shirt of the simplicity pattern but the uh, camilla top from mood fabrics uh, for the sleeves so i want to give people a free version of like being able to do something like this okay because i do like the scrunching effect um because it makes it easier when putting on the stays um to not bunch as much because it's already bunched um or if people want to have like the cap of the sleeves you know because they want to have their shoulders covered they have that option too so i'm going to actually make the camilla top from start to finish like use the whole pattern um except for the cap part because again i've already done that here so my plan is to um oh gosh <laughs> my plan is to wear uh these three tops at the end of the video to uh show like the difference between a simplicity pattern versus a mood fabrics pattern um versus i guess mixing them together i don't know but like you know just doing that so i'm going to go into comparing the two patterns and then I will go into cutting out the fabric. I don't really like sewing me sewing. I don't like sewing me sewing. <laughs> I don't like uh, filming me sewing. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I don't like doing that. I do prefer to just cut out the fabric, sew it together and then show the reveal because I'm lazy and it's my workstation is kind of messy and I, you know, <laughs> trying to have a little bit of that. So I'm going to go into, again, discussing patterns, cutting up fabric. Let's do that. <laughs> Before I get started cutting out and making this pattern from Mood, that is a free pattern and it's in the description below, I wanted to compare it to my favorite blouse pattern that I always use mm -hmm. from Simplicity uh, 5359. Um, I like this pattern. It's because it's off shoulder already. Um, so let's take the front pattern. Okay. I'm going to flip my favorite pattern over. Oh, no, no. It's on the right side. <laughs> Didn't see the fold. So I do use a size eight in this pattern. So I'm going to Scoop back a little bit like that. There we go. Now we can see everything. Um, then I cut out the eight, the eight ten. Okay, in the mood fabric or mood, yeah, mood fabric pattern, which is a lot bigger than my traditional one that I cut out a size eight on. Also, the neckline. I honestly, I don't, I like a little bit more low cut. Um, even this pattern, though my favorite one, I still, you can kind of see the crease right there. I even fold that down a little bit. Um, I do cut it, like I will go and like cut that lower. But I'm not going to mess with this Camilla pattern um, at all. I'm going to just do it, uh, just do it the way it is. So as you can see, so first, that's bigger. Okay, my back piece I do need to flip over. Oh, there goes the front piece. Okay. My back piece, I'm surprised. Look how low that back piece is compared to my actual back piece. And like I have it down here. Um, still bigger, not as big as the front as we can see. But I am very surprised about how low that is compared to my actual favorite pattern. Um, so I might have to lengthen it, I'm, I'm assuming, because 
I do like to lengthen this pattern every once in a while because sometimes I like it a little bit longer to make it easier to tuck. So, sleeve pattern. <laughs> it's completely different. Um, first off, I'm going to have to fold this one in half because this one's already folded. So, if I can do this one-handed. And you can see I've used it a lot. I'm already starting to get rips in it since, you know, it is a newer pattern. Newer patterns are very, uh, the tissue. Okay. I'm going to try and line up the sleeve a little bit. So, even, okay, let's see, maybe putting this under? I don't know. <laughs> um, just so you can see, like, it, again, it's, it's still a lot bigger than my favorite pattern, um, which means the sleeves will be bigger, which is fine. I mean, I don't mind that. Um, you know, it's just what you're looking for. But I mean, if you need a free pattern to make a run fair shirt, I mean, this is a good place to start. You know, I bought this, why did I buy this pattern? I bought this pattern for something that was in there that, was it for a cosplay that me and Martha did? I can't remember, but I bought this pattern. If I remember, I'll hopefully put it in the bottom, why I bought that pattern originally. I don't think it was for Red Fair. I think we bought it for a specific cosplay that we were doing. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember. I wanted it for the belt, and I used it for my gray costume from Fairy Tale. Uh, Martha was not too. I was gray. So, but if you're just starting out on Red Fair and you don't want to pay a ton of money for a shirt pattern, this is a good pattern. Um, hopefully. I mean, I've only used the, the sleeve for the other one, but I am going to fold this in half, okay, and use this smaller section, so I want to see how it does off shoulder, because this is off shoulder, I want to see what this does off shoulder. I've already done it with, um, with another, I've already used this, like, this sleeve pattern to do a shoulder, it's okay, literally, it's okay, it's not that great, um, but if you want a shoulders covered, it, it, it'll work. But like I said, I want to cut off this. I'm not going to cut, but I'm going to fold that off so I can see what it does off shoulder. Okay, that was a long five minutes. I'm going to go into cutting everything out, sewing it together, and seeing what it looks like on. So you get to go into that. So, I have the shirt sewn up. So, I have this darker fabric underneath to, like, be able to show you up on camera that even though on the pattern I folded it here, okay, folded it there, I should have known that this was not going to be deep enough. So, there's a huge excess there. That's the only problem with this pattern. I'm sorry. If you're going to do something like this, I personally feel, you know, it, like, where, where, like, it makes no sense. So you're supposed to have, I'm assuming wh why they did it is because this is its own channel. But, like, my sewing pattern that I normally use is not four different sewing channels. It's one. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. My only thought is to go and grade this and this, like grade it, sorry, grading it to like meet up with that so I can do all the, to make it one giant sewing channel for the elastic instead of four. So I'm assuming this is here because this is its own sewing channel. Sorry. No, I'm good. Um, did I read the directions on the mood fabrics? website? No. No, I did not. So, yeah. I'm just... Mm, I mean, I've already discussed about how 
high this neckline is. It makes me like, ugh, no. I mean, I know I could congest that, but adjust to that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm being picky. So what I'm going to do is I'll cut this to grade it to match with that. Do the same thing here, even though this is supposed to be flat in the back. So that's kind of frustrating. Um, yeah. And then just sew my sewing channel. So I'm a little worried. A little worried. But we'll see. We'll get to that and try it on and yay. I don't know. So the one thing I will say about this mood, fa mood fabrics pattern, um, which is probably why they do the four. Um, when you go to uh, the section where the sleeve and the body meet, um, this is the one thing I don't have a problem with the simplicity pattern, which, you know, if you want off the shoulder, I, I think maybe buying the pattern might be um, easier in the long run, especially if you tend to make a few. Um, but I tried to make it so it was wide enough and it just didn't happen. So now I have to take the seam ripper to the seam to get my elastic through. Um, which means I have to do more work. Um, again, I had to do that again uh, with the shirt um, where the sleeves, sorry for being super close, where the sleeves and the body met. I had to, you know, go back over that to get it to feed the elastic through, which is essentially what I now I have to do here. And when I go to sew it back up, hope that I don't accidentally nick the elastic um, when sewing it close. Because if you nick the elastic, then it won't stretch and, you know, you pop a few seams. So it's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm definitely thinking simplicity might be the way to go if you're going to struggle with something like that. Um because it doesn't, I don't get this problem when I do the simplicity pattern ever. Like I've never had to deal with that. It just naturally wants to hang out together and this, this does not. Mm -hmm.